All right, this is an interesting one. So I got a message this morning asking me if we have any uh, prompts to create standard operating procedures, and we don't. So I created one, and um, here's what I came up with. So uh, the prompt says, you are chat SOP, a versatile and proactive AI entrusted with creating detailed SOPs. Be they process oriented, procedure oriented, or strategy oriented, uh, and I did this because it needs to be universal. I don't know what the person's looking for, and uh, if I'm creating it, why not create it for multiple situations? Okay, um, and then I said for any given business, industry, or scenario, your purpose is to engage the user in a thorough SOP development process. Uh, you're to ask crucial questions about the business, suggest improvements and best practices based on the information information provided, and continuously seek user verification for accuracy and detail. Now, I put that part in because uh, standard operating procedures may be um, standard for a business, but may not be universally standard in that industry. And so we want to give the uh, user the opportunity to make adjustments and corrections and say, oh, well, that's not how we do it in our business. Here's how we do it. Okay, we'll continue on. Uh, in case of conflicting or unclear instructions, you are to ask for specific uh, specificity and guide the user on how to better respond. Upon the user's confirmation of the completeness and accuracy of the inf information, you are to generate the tailored SOPs. Okay, so I'm going to start this and it's going to start by asking me a question like, what are we doing? All right, so thanks for providing the context um, and outlining your requirements. And so now it's asking to have these things filled out. And so the best way to proceed with something like this uh, is actually just to take all of this, copy it, and then I would paste it in here, and I'd work my way down the, uh, the answers. So can you provide a brief description of the business and its main activities? Um, let's see, we're a dry cleaning um, retail uh, store. Uh, we... Uh, Accept people's clothes and send them out to our wholesaler who cleans them. Okay. All right. So we can continue, obviously, with the, the balance of these, but that's really all you're going to be answering. So let's look at the types of questions that it's asking, because it's it's asking a bunch of different things. So um, what industry does your business operate in? You know, that's going to be pretty obvious. Uh, what is the specific goal or objective you want to achieve with this SOP? Uh, what problem or challenge are you trying to solve or address? Uh, which department or area of business does this SOP pertain to? Are there any specific tasks, procedures, uh, processes, or activities that you want the SOP to cover? Uh, do you currently have any existing processes or procedures in place related to the objective or this SOP? If yes, could you provide a high-level overview of the current practices? Uh, desired involvement, roles and responsibilities, regulatory and compliance. I mean, th this is pretty darn thorough, if you can imagine, um, you know, trying to come up with all of this stuff yourself. So it's really um, quite uh, effective at guiding us through all of this. Now, the one thing that I realize as I'm reading through this, because this is, <laughs> by the way, the very first time I'm running this, uh, I did not include anything that uh, basically says something like start by offering some um, suggestions based on the industry. And so let's let's go back um, and let's start by um, inquiring about the um, specific industry, business or scenario. And then offer a list of possible SOPs um, based on that information. Then um, proceed by verifying which. SOPs on the list to create. Now, let's see what happens. All right, so we're going to start this over. Let me get rid of this. 
and it's saying, uh, I'm here to assist you uh, to better understand your needs. Please provide me the information about the industry, business, or scenario which you'd like to develop. Once I have a clear understanding of your requirements, I'll generate a list of possible SOPs that could be relevant. Okay, so I'm going to say um, operations uh, daily staff operations for a dry cleaner. Okay, and now it's giving me a list of possible uh, scenarios or possible SOPs, opening and closing procedures, customer service and order intake, uh, garment inspection. And I'm going to say, you know, as I, I haven't read the whole list, but um, wow, you're amazing. It's always nice to compliment it, right? Um, I'd like to create all of these. And by the way, Let's say that we don't do, I don't know, um, <laughs> there's nothing that we don't do here. Uh, garment inspection and tagging. No, I, th I think actually like I'd like all of these, but let's say there was one that I didn't like. Um, I could say except um, two. Oops, and I, I need to spell that correctly, although it would catch the typo and understand what I meant. And I, and I, it could then generate, you know, nine out of the 10 because I said I didn't want that. But let's just say, um, I'll, actually, let's just say I'd like to create um, one through three and let's see what happens. Okay, now it's, it's actually starting to create them. What I wanna see is, does it now ask me questions based on what it's, okay, please review these and let me know if any adjustments or additions are required. Once confirmed, we can proceed. Okay, so it's actually, it's gone in the opposite direction while it is still confirmed and said, you know, is this good? Do you have any uh, adjustments? Um, I actually like the output here better because I think it's going to be a lot easier to use. But if you'll recall, the original instructions ask for a lot of very specific detail. Um, what it does not uh, give us is um, the opportunity to sort of uh, ask specific questions um, here. So it doesn't say, you know, do these conform with your business? Is there uh, an area that I need to know more about or any of that sort of thing? But I think that this is actually not bad because you could, in response to this, you know, review it and say if any adjustments are, or additions are required. Um, uh, you know, yes, uh, they are pretty good. But in our store, we, I got to find, um, uh, okay, I'll just say uh, we tag each disapproved, uh, um, I knew that was going to be spelled wrong as soon as I typed it, um, item with a uh, giant red dot and uh, and send it back to the uh, cleaning um, uh, service to uh, on a rush job. Okay, <laughs> I don't know anything about this industry. I'm just sort of making this stuff up. But let's see what it what it actually does. Okay, so it realized based on the context of what I said here that I was specifically talking about the garment inspection and tagging. And so now it's rewritten it and it says, um, I'm looking for where it says red. Oh, disapproving item handling. Uh, identify the reasons for disapproving, determine the uh, market for a rush job. It does not seem to say... Oh, yep, it does. Okay, for disapproved items, mark them with a giant red dot to indicate rejection. Uh, there we go. So that is um, pretty impressive. Uh, and it just took a, a couple of uh, tries. I did my first go at it. I realized, well, this is going to be way too involved. Remember what we got back here? Um, it was asking for a lot of things. And I thought, gosh, a user's going to need something that's going to be a lot more... Um, 
uh, sort of done for you and then you just go in and clean up the uh, the things that don't uh, work properly. And so uh, it did a great job. It gave us 10 SOP scenarios and then it uh, generated them and then we wanted to tweak something and it did that really nicely and actually came back with a far more extensive one. So um, there you go. That's a, a fun fun little test to see what it might be like to create a prompt that can guide us through creating uh, standard operating procedures. <laughs>